Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Wisdom ML. So in this video, we'll be talking about a very interesting use case that is detection of COVID-19 and viral pneumonia cases from chest X-ray images using deep CNN approach. And in this, we'll be using mobile net model. So first of all, I'll show you a class-based web app which we have developed in which you can real-time predict a, a chest X-ray images into different classes. So let me show you uh, first our uh, <coughs> um, our app. So this is our app. Uh, in this, uh, we'll be uploading images, right? Uh, so first of all, I'll go to the data set. Uh, this is our data set. So in which I'll be first of all try to upload some. COVID infected patients uh, chest X-ray image. Let me upload this one. So you can see. <clears throat> so uh, this web app not only uh, predicted uh, that it is COVID-19 case, right? 99.98% confidence, uh, but also highlighted the regions which are actually responsible for uh making it as uh, covid 19 chest x-ray okay so why this patient is suffering from covid 19 will be also uh, talking about it in medical terms uh, what are the uh, ground glass opacities uh, why uh, why uh, lower mid uh, lung side which is lower low uh, affected in covid 19 cases and how it is uh, successfully highlighting those regions so this is uh, covid 19 let me upload another another uh, image of let's say uh, normal pneumonia cases or we can say viral pneumonia cases so you can see that it is correctly predicted as 99.96 percent uh, confidence that it is viral image and uh, also the affected region is also highlighted okay so uh, this is the uh, demo of our app which we will be building okay uh, so first of all i will uh, go through the problem statement then i will uh, walk you over our code base that is model uh, development model building part how we can uh, uh, build a cnn based model and then in the third part, we'll be talking about uh, how we can develop a flash based web app, which can detect and highlight regions for predicting uh, different uh, pneumonia cases, maybe viral pneumonia or COVID induced pneumonia. So let me open uh, my uh, presentation. So first of all, we'll talk about the uh, background. So why we have choose this as a problem statement? We all know that currently our whole world is still suffering from pandemic disease that is COVID, right? And uh, still uh, it is uh, uh, taking peak, right? Uh, this is the fourth peak you can see because uh, some uh, uh, in some states in India, even in uh, countries like UK and US. Uh, COVID cases are increased now nowadays, right? So some peak is observed recently in in one month. So and uh, we all know that in, it is spread in uh, almost 200 countries, more than 200 countries, and around uh, 2.3 billion active cases and uh, more than 4.3 million deaths. Okay, and due to a rapid increase in number of cases, there are limited supply for devices diagnostic testing kits uh, and that's why it is very difficult that to detect uh, covid 19 cases in a very short period of time there are some devices developed even in india also uh, some companies even uh, some uh, research institutions also develop and that is very very fast i totally admit this but still we don't have something that uh, tells you instantly that it is uh, COVID or not and that with uh, greater sensitivity. Okay. So 
so for making a label an alternative diagnostic method we will be developing a deep cnn based model that is mobile net model so that mobile net model why we have choose because uh, as i told you in our skin cancer uh, uh, video skin cancer uh, detection model in that uh, also in that uh, use case we have also used mobile net and mobile nets are very very uh, uh, lighter in weight okay and they are uh, they use very small number of parameters and they are also very accurate so we can easily uh, integrate those models in mobile applications or uh, very lighter uh, web apps okay for uh, detecting uh, image based diseases right so that's why we will be using here mobile net so uh, as you know that uh, there is dif different types of papers uh, published in this field and uh, uh, in this use case basically uh, we have published our paper that is covid light in which we have used a deep convolution neural network okay uh, and in this we have used basically depth wise separable convolution neural networks to detect uh, covid 19 pneumonia and normal uh, cases and so this this uh, uh, project which i am showing to you is uh, taken from the uh, maybe inspired from this covid light research paper so if you have not read this paper it is very interesting paper in terms of image pre processing some novel techniques we have used and how we have used uh, uh, depth wise separable convolution what is the uh, main aim of using that what is the novelty involved so you can uh, uh, read this is very uh, very interesting paper so uh, for this use case basically we have used uh, same chest x ray images data set which we have used in covid light and uh, uh, in this we have used basically covid chest x ray data set which is uh, available on github and let me tell you guys this is the first covid chest x ray data set uh that that was available uh, on github and uh, that was uh, uh, made available by one uh, professor uh, paul johnson uh, uh, in, in in a us university uh, and uh, i will i will give you the link of this data set you can uh, see that because the best part of this data set is that uh, uh, in this data set we have a uh, uh, demographic details of the patients also in terms of their location their age their gender that is generally not uh, available in other data sets so that's why this data set is very special in terms of getting demographic data the second data set is available on uh, ieee data port so for covid images basically we have taken images from uh, this data set and this data set and some of the normal chest x ray images we have also taken from these two data sets uh, next we have uh, combined uh, viral pneumonia cases from this chest x ray images from national institute of health clinical center data set that is available on kaggle so basically in this uh, project we will be using 1823 chest x ray images uh, which comprise of 536 COVID-19, 619 viral pneumonia, and 668 images of normal cases. Okay. So you can see that uh, this is the chest X-ray radiograph, and we have used uh, some image processing technique. So you can see that the lower dull or blackish images image is basically enhanced, and uh, on top of that, we are using basically deep CNN models for uh, predicting three classes so now uh, as we know that there are different uh, diagnostic methods already available for detecting covid 19 first is you can see that pcr test uh, which is in terms of we take sample sample collection happen then rna extraction then reverse transcription and then real time pcr happen another one is serological test uh, in which we uh, uh, we take a uh, sample and then serum separation and then ELISA assay and then it is a, basically it is an antibody uh, detection test it is not a direct test for covid 
but it's it tests that whether your antibody are strong enough for any uh, viral type of infection and the third one is uh, uh, images based technique that is mri ultrasound and ct uh, so next so as we know that rt pcr is the gold standard method for diagnosing covid 19 cases and it is a molecular test that analyzes upper respiratory specimen look for genetic material for uh, sars cov 2 okay and it has four but it has four major issues first is a very time consuming process okay uh, sometimes it, it takes more than two, day, two days okay 48 hours and within those time it, it happened actually that uh, uh, once the uh, diagnostic results came the patient died in between so there are lots of cases happen uh, like that so that is the major drawback of this technique second is results rely heavily on sample collection timing type storage handling and processing okay so any any malfunction happen in uh, sample collection or maybe storage of the specimen uh, then it will be a major issue uh, it has lower sensitivity also around 60 to 70% so most of the cases uh, false positive also detected and which is not a good thing and second and the last thing is the availability of commercial kits because uh, they are very limited in number that be. so uh, it was not readily available in remote locations in uh, even uh, developing countries and even in uh, developed countries uh, remote locations next is the serology test serology test basically looks for the presence of antibody that i told you and it is not a basically a test for detection of covid 19 it's just a you can say antibody uh, test in which we see that uh, uh, they can identify individuals previously infected by sars covid infection and but we actually do not know if it performs better in terms of as a screening test for covid-19 uh, so there are some imaging methods also like mri ultrasound and ct so according to research we found that chest it is more sensitive than uh, initial rt pcr okay and according to literature typical finding of chest in ct images of covid infected patients have uh, or uh, ground glass opacities so ground glass opacity is actually a pattern in covid-19 patient and it observed in uh, chest ct uh, images chest ct scans but not recommended for pregnant women and older adults why because of ionization of radiation okay it affects them uh, in a negative way and it has also lesser availability and also high cost in report locations you cannot do chest ct because devices are not available uh lung ultrasound have lower sen sensitivity also and it is lower than chest ct whereas M mris are uh, accurate but relatively very costly <coughs> next so why chest x rays so chest x ray there are four main reasons first they are cost effective second their availability is uh, wider uh, even in remote locations you can do chest x rays uh, lesser waiting time for results relatively they are less harmful than ct scan radiations now in context of covid 19 research uh, uh, some of the researches showed that increased use of cxr images over ct scans as more data available from various sources okay so because they are very cost effective readily available so scientists and researchers have looked uh, and make available chest x ray images as much as possible they open sourced also uh, in terms of open source data set so that um, they can easily be used for research purposes for building uh, these ai based uh, cnn models and a series of recent studies showed that uh, it has shown promising results uh, because when we use state of the art
so uh, recent uh, studies showed that uh, if we do uh, if we build uh, deep neural networks or deep cnn networks using chest x ray images and uh, if we use state of the art methods right uh, transfer learning approaches so it has shown uh, significant good results in terms of predicting covid cases so now uh, we see the high level process map of our approach for uh, this task for detecting covid cases so as i told you we have combined uh, images from two data set that is one is covid chest x ray images data set that is available on uh, uh, github and the second one was uh, available on ieee so we have combined covid images uh, from those two uh, sources and combi combine it into covid x ray images and then for pneumonia cases we have used nih data set for that and combine the data set so the first task is uh, image pre processing right so what we are doing in image pre processing uh, we are uh, we have used only uh, white balancing so why we have used it because uh, we know that in chest x ray we have some darker images so white balance uh, what it does is it in it enhance the uh, images by uh, stretching the all the channels of the images where we have a darker uh, uh, darker part or darker regions so in that way the whole image turns into brighter mode and uh, it enhanced in comparison to darker images and it helps in detecting significant patterns from the chest x ray images after that we'll be doing certain data augmentations so that uh, we'll increase the training data and make the model more robust and uh, after that we'll be uh, doing feature extraction so feature extraction is nothing but uh, building our model for extracting the features from the images and uh, and here we have written model selection but uh, in our case we have used only uh, mobile net model because uh, initially we have uh, evaluated certain models like normal sequential cnn models or vgg16 and uh, exception nets but we found that mobile net is the more robust and more accurate model so uh, we'll be showing only mobile net model here and the model building process uh, which will do the image classification and then we'll uh, form some evaluations in terms of uh, calculating the accuracy confusion matrix and uh, plotting roc auc curve so that we'll see how the model uh, behaving in terms of uh, predicting all the three classes and uh, then we'll also be uh, showing some sample predictions of our model okay how it is actually predicting the some sample random images and then we'll be uh, uh, showing model explanation in terms of grad cam so this is the overview of our uh, 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 covid detection uh, project and in the next video we'll be showing the uh, uh, we'll be giving you code walk through of our model building process and how we'll be doing our different steps that i told you in this slide that is image pre processing data augmentation model building and uh, certain uh, data uh, hmm, uh, data enhancement techniques and uh, what is uh, how we'll be using different optimizers and annealers okay and how we are optimizing uh, how we will be optimizing our model for uh, building a robust model so thanks guys thanks for watching our video let's meet on our next video that is the part 2 of this video for, you know, for a model building process